I need your way around town. Clearly not. Goodbye. See you later. Oh my god. These guys must be scientific geniuses because they're they're so they're quiet and they usually resolve a plot because it would make a surprising good day. Can you help me? No. Meow. Can you help me resolve a plot? Meow. And bye. Meow. Fantastic. Dead pan must have been. Alright. Uh, fireflies home, I guess. I know the visitor's really something. I know. I hope I'm someone finally cleans up that library. Nope, she's gone. So if you can, if you don't do Connie's, if you don't do things for Connie, then uh, she, only she can un uncode the logbook, or if you have a, a character with a science or 80, uncode the logbook. If you don't have any of those things, then the main quest, you can't continue on. So I don't know whether I'm going to cheat here or not. Uh, or maybe Ingrid, hang on. How's it going? I'm drinking with the book, so how you, can you tell me how you got here? A bunch of maniacs broke into the door, mum disappeared and we thought they killed her, but she found this tunnel and came back to save us. We got here, Mum and Andre argued like they'd done it before, then she ditched us to go back and fight, or whatever, and once things were safe in the dome, she was supposed to come to get us, but the time went in the building, we were trying things to see off the tunnel. The tunnel's blocked, how do you get back to the dome? I'm sure that Andre guy can knock it down, but since we don't know the door's password, we're stuck here until Mum or someone comes. I can figure out the code in this book from this dome, can you help? Damn, that slot numbers, if it helps. Our favourite lost numbers were 4, 16, 9, and 7, after tours and my birthdays. She also had a thing for cars and liked to give them names that began with the letter P, Pegasus, Persephone, Phil, some kind of old joke, I guess. Since E is the most common letter, maybe she used P or one of those num numbers instead. Thanks to hints from the scientist's children, you can now understand some fragments of the code text. However, much of the book's content is still mystery to you, and you realize the coding is still currently beyond your abilities. With your new findings, you can set the log with only 60 signs. Logbook's entries are written in code to stop others getting secrets. However, after studying for a while, you realize there's a flaw in the code cipher and is allowed to be broken. With your advanced skills in science, you successfully decipher the contents of the dome scientist logbook. Instead, inside, you discover a series of journal entries, but most importantly, the complete access code to the dome. Dome. Let's look at these logs. Contains Dr. Shirker's dome access code. That's great. Uh, I've seen Mr. Red and Mr. Green scavenging the area again. It's hard to see them from the dome since they never approach. I wonder why. At first, they appear to be suffering from the syndrome, like us, but they're too strong and active, also not dead, but they've been coming around at least since my revival from status. They tend to carry much more than, than they can consume at such regularity, I'm confident they've gone to a larger world. I thought they were absolutely insane at first, insisting that they'd survive the nuclear environment the one 200 years ago. It was simply impossible until I recognized him. Jeff! Oh my god, Jeff! What the hell happened to you? Having the experimental bile fuel turned into a snack? There's no reason to condemn such a brilliant man to this pit. I'm also pretty sure I saw Commissioner Sinclair, and the bastard got what he deserved, if that is him. It may have been the stupidest thing I've ever done, but when I saw those fake doctors storm their way into the dome and start massacring people, I bolted out the door during the chaos before it could seal shut. Considering the mutations that have ravaged local wildlife, Mr. Green and Mr. Red's friends couldn't survive this long without good firepower. Uh, the radiation also, also almost got me, this would help little, but when I found their cave, the people were nice enough to take care of me. I found out why the townspeople never visit the dome. Their leader refused to help me fight back the invaders, even when Jeff and that Sinclair kid tried to bargain with him. Apparently, when the ground shifted, one of our axes caught tunnels ruptured, creating a link to this cave. They knocked on the door uh, for months, but no one came to save them. If the lockdown hadn't been so sudden, we could have accommodated every one of them. <coughs> if they don't want to fight, fine, but I can't leave Ingrid and Tor up there any longer. I have to get down there. I have to get them down there. Okay, so alright, so let's get the quests. There's a better way to get into the boom, 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 boom. So yeah, that's an exit. The exit and we can finally get into the dome itself. We've got our uh, peeps with us, we've got our companions with us, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get in, we're gonna fight. We're gonna massacre, we're gonna kill all those raiders and meet shoot the scientists and help the brother. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See you later, you suckers. We don't hang around in this place anymore. It sucks. Wait, I probably get to my radiation jack. <coughs> Sorry for calling you guys suckers.
Please don't break my frame rate. She's not here, is she? Your skin looks so Yeah, 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 yeah. Humor I'll have you checked out just as soon as I receive your copay. Stim back. Hey, goodbye. Yep. Goodbye. See you later. See you later. Yeah, see you later, suckers. See ya. No one likes you. No one wouldn't want to be ya. See you guys. I hope you fuck off. I hope there's a cave in. You dicks. I want to the doom. I want the doom. Hey Sam, fuck you. You can be the shit out of me. This game's that stone. There's gonna be like 15 death squad troopers. That's my act. I can kill any of them. I've got the I've got the two most I've got the two, you know, relatively strong people with me. I got a I got a, a failed writer and a bitch who's got captured twice in the last day. Nothing can beat me. Except a a set up a valley. Yeah, I'm stuck. We're just gonna go to the boulder dome. Alright, guys, we're just gonna go to the boulder dome. Fuck's sake. Dude. Yeah, just go there. Okay, look at this. This is nice. Look over here. Isn't this nice and featureless? Alright. Finally get entrance into the most featureless dome in the history of everything. Enter dome access codes. Welcome home, Dr. Shirker. Mm. We're in. We're in finally into the dome after part 26. And Kate is still walking into walls. Will she help us? We'll wait and see. Let's continue on. Find in the dome. Probably a loading screen which will last forever. I could have imagined it. Yeah. The walls are a bit clean. I understand that, um. I understand the walls would be clean because the dome has been sealed off for 200 years. But on the other hand, it's kind of like it kind of says that they're featureless. Oh, hi! I know every face in this facility, but I don't know yours. You could be one of the raiders, but something tells me you're not. So, who are you? How long have you been in that suit, Neil Armstrong? I've come to extend an offer from the Brotherhood of Iron. Over the years, many have claimed to have a cure. I won't be fooled again. What proof do you have? I am proof. I had the virus and I'm cured. Let me take a blood sample, if I can confirm what you're saying is true. You've got yourself a deal. Hold still. Well, I'll be damned. Your blood contains dormant traces of the What did I fail? It seems very likely that you're telling the truth. I'll agree to your terms. You On two conditions, though. We've got a couple serious problems here at the Dome. Help us out, and you can tell the Brotherhood it's a done deal. What's the first The problem? Zach's supercomputer that runs the entire facility is close to breaking down. If he shuts down... We've got some serious problems. There's no manual controls for the exterior doors to this place. Without the Zacks, those doors will stay locked forever. Well, you're Meaning a cunt, you so. will never leave, and the Brotherhood will never enter. Go talk to the Zacks. He can tell you himself what he needs. No wonder the Raiders got in. You're the most trusting man in the world. Do Doctor's a man is the most ironic thing ever said. What's the second problem? Well, you might have noticed some rough-looking bastards wandering around the city district. I'm ready. Not exactly the elite of society you expected in here. I didn't expect They tried much. posing as scientists to get into the dome, but I wasn't falling for that. I don't know how they got inside. Call it a malfunction. 
Once oh. inside, they took control of the city district by force. Luckily, myself and some of the other sure. scientists sure. locked sure. ourselves sure. in this sure. control. Sure. Not all of us made it here alive, I'm afraid. Dr. Shirker managed to escape out into the your microphone. Is that how you got here? You must have used her access codes to enter this control room. Is she still alive? No. I'm afraid she didn't make it. That's a terrible shame. She was a good woman. And a good <laughs> place uh, within the dome. At least I finally know what happened to her. Thank you for that. You're Back welcome. to the Raiders. I need you to stop them. By whatever means necessary. Check the logs on my computer. The information might prove useful. Okay. Besides the city district, those freaks are nesting in engineering as well. So you'll have to get past them there in order to reach the Zacks. You'll have to speak to Harold Johnson, our head scientist, as he's the only one who's had access to the Zacks. You'll need his access codes to enter. Good luck. We're all counting on you now. Thank you, Neil Armstrong. How did the Raiders get inside the dome? It was the strangest thing. It appeared the Zax itself issued the command to let them in. I don't know what itself. could have caused that. A malfunction? Hmm. Four or six. How long have An hour. Uh, what do you know about the Zax? Personally, I don't trust the dome in the hands of a computer. You're better off asking Harold about the Zax. He probably built the damn thing. Hmm. Okay, moving then. Check my computer logs if you need more information. Good luck. Yeah, as I was saying, the wall's just really clean. I know there's an argument that's been here for 200 years and stuff like that, but on their hand, it kind of just sort of suggests it looks like a sort of the most basic model they put in, rather than applying any effects from the environment. Even a 200-year block-top dome has an environment in it, and things need to be affected. But, you know. It's a van log one. Finally, a cure to the cell sun syndrome has been found. We can all rejoice. I know you all had your doubts, but just... This morning I received a message from outside the dome. It turns out civilization does exist, and we did not wake alone and helpless at the mercy of the disease. In the 200 years we have been deep sleep, a cure has been researched and discovered. We didn't have to lift a finger. It's come to us. Now, they certainly don't look like scientists you and I used to, but clearly, times have changed. Spiky hair, goggles, and a flame form? Clearly someone with a background in chemistry. The bearded gentleman with the bloodied auto axe? Well, someone that clearly understands the benefits of vivisection. No animal rights activist here. Thank science. I'm impressed they still wear lab coats, despite torn, hastily put on with half not fitting. Being the forefront of their civilization, these bright men still respect the regalia of the past. Maybe they read a paper on me. I know he wishes, even though you've been reluctant to express them due to respect to Dr. Johnson, once I share, I feel though he is a relic of my old age. We should embrace this new role with a new vision. Therefore, it's with great reluctance that I suggest myself as the new director of the dome. We can change this place from being our tomb to the beacon of a new civilization, with us at the crest of the world. Any of that means Savant Lock Team. For those of you that read the first part, let's, let's face it, well, you won't admit it, I can't see why you would know how much writing is here. I would like to apologize profusely. It was a ruse. A ruse so I can make some effort to finding out the spy amongst us. This is a grave tragedy. That not only have the Raiders occupied the city level, but more of the Microsoft of the Cell Syndrome have escaped the dome and begun infecting the environment outside. Now, I know a lot of you may think I was fooled by these Raiders, that Dr. King, you had the absurd notion that I was blinded by my jealousy of Dr. Johnson. That's how I've done any that I would have done anything, and I could not clearly see that oh my god that this is a band of ruthless post-apocalyptic killers. But I'm afraid the real trick was oh my god was played on the rest of you. Anyone you would have had any reason to let any one of you would have any reason to let the Raiders in, perhaps to work with them. But it didn't take long for me to work out that, that there's no dealing with these people. Why well, clearly I knew that at the start. But perhaps to escape. I know a lot of you have pinups of Dr. Johnson on your wall that you stared at longingly while I worked twice as hard. There shouldn't be any comments here. Twice as hard as the rest of you to be here. But we are no longer in time for heroes. This should be a common for fun. I have a reason to I have a reason to believe Dr. Johnson let the Raiders in. Why not? Oh, we're on a new chapter. Do we ever see him? He's always in the depths of the dome. How he came out of the depth deep sleeping for us. Is it, is it possible he's been communicating with these scum all to engineer his escape and absolve himself of any guilt guilt of endangering the great sharper minds of his? Uh God. There's the next third fucking one. I like to retract my statement blaming Dr. Johnson for elected majors, and perhaps I was a little rash in pointing figures. When we blame each other like that, we only make ourselves weaker for the troubles ahead. Whatever these troubles may be, I always like to say I will stop trying to advance myself as our new leader. Dr. Johnson led us before the war, and he will lead us in this time as well. I like all of you, I have a lot to thank him for. He brought me to the dome when no university company or undercover institution will touch me. It's time to let go of politics from the past and stop trying to be something we're not and be what we're going to be problem solvers. 
let's solve this problem in our city sector. If we can't solve it, perhaps it will come to us. It's me! 